we have another care package to open sent to me from my good friend Keith in the US. Let's crack this open. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, um, my good friend Keith has sent me um, another care package and this came about because um, I'm actually about to build um, a, a new inbox juggernaut for him. He sent me the kit and asked me to build it. We're going to do it fully box out and then he sent me all the spares to do a second shell. Um, I'll put that video in the um, description of this video should you be interested if you've not seen it. It was a popular video. Um, so that's how this care package came around because he had some bits he needed to send me for the juggernaut so I can start the build. But Keith being Keith sent me a lot of goodies as well which he always does and I cannot thank him enough. But uh, what I'll do in this video, we'll just go through it very quickly and then I'll bring a camera over and we'll have a look at it in some more detail. Spoiler alert, it has sent me a vintage truck to do. Um, I'm going to bypass that quite quickly because I'm going to do a standalone video on that so I will go past it quite quickly. So the first thing he sent me is, I don't know what you call it actually, this is, these are all the parts to make, basically the Juggernaut failed didn't it with the drive system and some other plastic bits and the Juggernaut 2 came out really quickly after which eradicated some of um, the majority of those faults. So we've got this um, package from Tamiya which I'm going to fit as I'm building a Juggernaut, which fixes all the areas, and basically turns it, the running gear, into the Juggernaut 2, which is a lot more robust. So we'll open this up, there's a letter in there, and we'll open it up and see what we get, because I have no idea what's involved. Um, he's also sent me two servos for the build, which are 25kg um, digital servos with alloy arms as well inside there. Bit of weight to them, so we've got two servos. Um, now, the first thing he sent me for me is in this box, believe it or not, is a TTO1 Type E chassis to build. Um, basically, in one of his care packages if, if before, I'm doing um, a 2009, I think, is it a 2000? Yeah, 2009 Subaru Impreza. Um, and he sent me a TTO2 kit, TTO, sorry, a TTO1 Type E kit, which was a Sirocco kit. But it had a pre-painted body in it, and all I, all I was supposed to do was build <laughs> build the chassis, not do anything with the body shell. But as I got into it, I made it into a Red Bull. I'll put a picture up of it. Uh, I made it into a Red Bull sort of custom Sirocco, which I really liked, and that's now in my collection. So um, he sent me um, a chassis to build because I have the body set already and the decals and everything we're going to turn it into. So that is just awesome, and he didn't trust me to send me a kit again, which I fully understand, because I would have just built the kit and done the new body shell, and then at the end of it, I still needed a TTO, T, a TTO 1 chassis. Okay, now this next bit is a bit I'm going to fly over quite quickly, and when I bring camera over, I'm not going to show this, because I'm going to do a standalone video. This blew my mind. Because he was putting his care package together for me, he, um, he said to me, um, Keith, some, if you don't know, Keith's got a massive vintage collection uh, of built kits and a uh, probably even more impressive collection of new inbox vintage kits which is growing weekly he's got an amazing collection probably one of the best if not the best i've ever seen so he's got tons of stuff lying around anyway he said to me um he's basically got enough parts to do four king cab stroke monster racers and he said would i like one and they can send me the bits in the care package and if I would like it, you know, which one would I like? So basically, what Keith's doing, he's got, he's got the bits to make a mint vintage King Cab and also a mint vintage Monster Racer for himself and his own collection. And then he's got some re re parts like decals and reproduction body shells to do um, a Monster Racer and a King Cab. And so he asked me which one I wanted. So I said Monster Racer because that's my favourite of the two. Um, and then the one he's left with, him and his, his son are going to make it into a king cab. And that's going to be their runner, which is just awesome. So here's what he sent me. So we've got um, a Team TBG uh, Monster Racer body shell. Oops. We've got the MCI Monster Racer decals. <sighs> this is this. He sent me this king cab, king cab chassis. Um, which is in absolutely tip-top condition. It really is. Um, it just needs a good clean and a little bit of TLC. Now, these other bits he sent me. 
So he sent me the front wheels and tyres, which are in great condition. He sent me the rear wheels with tyres on, but these tyres are not the Monster Racer ones, and they're glued on. So I'm going to have a little bit of a mission getting those that rubber off. Because, and get this, he's also sent me a brand new set of rears. Now, if you guys know your Tamiya stuff and the rarity of some parts, this, in my opinion, is 100% the rarest Tamiya tyre there is at the moment. Um, this tyre was only used on two models. It came first on the King Cab and it had a set front and back. And then on the Monster Racer where these were only on the rear. This is a brand new set. I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna. I could sell them for probably 120 quid right now. That's how rare they are. You just do not see them. So yeah, we've got that. And he also sent me, and this is this is ridiculous. Um, Monster Racer body uh, body mounts. So obviously the Monster Racer differs from the King Cab in the mount four mounting parts, which I wasn't aware of. I've got to admit. Um, so he sent me those to convert this over because obviously with this being a king cab just thinks of everything and then um, new impact um, FRP chassis plate underneath doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the one on the kit but when we're doing the restoration we'll fit that and a parts tree for it where we get a new bumper the rear gearbox skid plate mount radio tray um, oh and interesting it looks like it's um, King Cab B okay sorry I'll just say KCB parts tree because it has a brand new um, body post for the King Cab as well which is awesome but we'll be using those three parts and we'll just change them over again nothing much wrong with this um, incredible absolutely incredible stuff right on to the next thing he sent me the thing about Keith is if he doesn't miss a trick, if there's anything I'm ever needing where I'm really going to struggle, because he's got such fantastic contacts and he's, he's got a fantastic collection again himself, it just it gets certain bits that I never thought I was going to get. So in this bag is the Intru Tome Intruder EX rear suspension support, which is a genuine EX one which differed from the standard Tome Intruder. Now, if I didn't have this, it wouldn't make a blind bit of difference to me because my EX is finished now. But that just makes it super cool. It's it's ridiculous to be honest. And sticking with Tome, he sent me a full fiber light carbon body set. Uh, sorry, uh, chassis set for it, which is just incredible. So, as I say, we'll bring a camera over. But we got um... oh, sorry, I do apologise. That is a shock tower for a top force. I think that's interesting. That's carbon shock tower. I don't actually know what that's for. I'm thinking it's a front top force, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Hmm, interesting stuff. Um, back to fiber light. So we've got the intruder carbon battery st steps. We've got the front carbon tower, top deck, rear shock tower, um, steering bridge, and then of course the main intruder chassis. So that's incredible. Um, it's gonna some decals. Um, again, these are just what he has spare. So he sent me um, a standard set sticker type C of the TRF decals. I always have time and use for those. And he's also sent me the um, mirror finish black border TRF stickers. They're nice. I've got no plans to use these, but it's lovely to have for the future. And he sent me these, which I've not seen before. These are TRF logo stickers. Yeah, not seen those before. They're kind of cool. Um, oh, and then we've got some more of a sponsorship for the Monster Racer. Those are MCI decals. I'll both put them together so I don't lose them. And he sent me a, a full sheet of the MCI TRF decals as well, which again are just coming mega handy for projects that I'm doing in the future. And finally, and then we'll bring a camera over, he sent me a brand new set of the, <coughs> excuse me, the small bar aeration shocks. Again, haven't got anything for these to go on, which makes these super cool just to have, so I can kind of put them in my stock. And he's also sent me uh, a brand new set of the Big Bar aeration dampers, which is, again, mega cool to have. And he's also sent me those with the four-wheel drive front and rear spring set, which is just awesome. Let's drink, drag a camera over and have a close-up on all this stuff.
Right, so let's have a look what we've got. So as I said, two steering servos um, for the jug. Steering servos? I presume they're steering servos. Might be one steering, one throttle, not too sure. Anyway, 25 kg, and as I say, comes with two metal arms, alloy arms, which is cool. So yeah, we've got two of those, and then we've got the package itself. So what I want to do is I just want to open it up and see what's in there. Okay, so this for me personally is mega interesting and something I wasn't aware of. So um, we have this letter from Tamiya USA, which I'll try put in a position, but I, I'll I'll try read it over the camera. Sorry for the noise. Um, Dear value Tamiya customer, thanks to the feedback of our US customers and efforts of Tamiya designers, Tamiya have redesigned several parts within the Juggernaut. Replacement of these parts with the new parts should increase the durability of the kit and ensure a longer period between parts replacement. We, rec we recommend that you follow the attached instructions and, and replace all of the obsolete parts with their new counterparts for a better performing, more durable truck. Enclosed A parts tree, B parts tree, drevel, d sorry, drive bevel gear parts, gear bag parts, ball bearing set, warning sheet, and important notice. <laughs> Sincerely, Tamiya America. That's <laughs> incredible. Never seen anything like that before. So here's the important bit. Um, please follow these last minute changes to your Juggernaut instruction manual. Fantastic. It's gonna make the build process quite um, interesting for me, because I'm gonna be cross-referencing. Um, yeah, so we've got that. Um, Paperwork-wise, it did have a warning, which was just, or two actually, which is just running at low speeds can cause resistors to heat up. High-powered motors can cause trouble. Tire mount, tires are mounted on the wheels at the factory. Do not glue the tires to the wheels. Hmm, interesting. Um, so that's that. So, as I say, we get parts trees. No idea what what if anyone knows why what were wrong with these please put in the comments I presume um, I can only guess soft plastic maybe so we've got two of those part trees and then we've got this which looks like the like a gearbox motor housing to change we got four bearings five bearings damn we have brand new gears for it. And then we have metal bevel gears. That's just incredible. And also within the pack, which I'm guessing they just put in as a bit of a sweetener, um, Tamiya logo, metal metal stickers, gold. Um, so they're bloody cool, aren't they? They're very nice. Um, yeah, I really like that. I think I've got a set of those myself in gold and silver somewhere. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's the Juggernaut stuff. Right, next up in here. <laughs> we have a TT01 chassis, um, which is just awesome. Um, you know what's in here, so I won't bore you and go through it all. But uh, yeah, that's cool, incredible. Even got the manual for it. So yeah, that's from a 2009 Subaru Impreza rally car with a, an old style livery. Now, if you watched that video, I may have, I may be putting a slightly different livery on it now, um, but we will see. I was gonna go with the, I always get the year wrong, it's either 97 or the 90, no, it's a, I was gonna go with a 99 Monte Carlo um, livery on the 2009 model but um, i'm now thinking of doing a slightly older one the 97 logo on it i don't know we will see right next up look at this tommy stuff so that's the intruder ex rear suspension support mega cool to have that um where's that oddball tower okay hang on, i don't know what i've done with it no it's there isn't it sorry so yeah i'm Curious, I'll have to message Keith and see what that one's for. Um, it's definitely something I don't think I needed. I don't think. Um, I'll have to message Keith, see what that's for. Right, fiber light wise. So, again, so that's the this is for the standard intruder carbon. So, that's your steering bridge arm. That's your rear shock tower. God, we love carbon. That's the little front tower. 
battery arms, which would be really cool to get some white Tommy decals on there when this, when this conversion is done. Top deck, and finally the main deck. I think it's really interesting why they didn't do the battery cutouts. You know, the um, six slots for the six cells of saddle pack, like the standard chassis got. I wonder why they didn't do that. Just looking where the counter, yeah, it's counter sunk. Yeah, that's going to be a fantastic conversion. Um, and then let's just have a quick look at these decals that he sent us. So they're what I call the standard TRF decals. Very cool. And then these are going to be a little bit flash, aren't they? These are nice with the uh, black border. Um, sorry, silver mirror finish border on them against the black. They're very cool. And yeah, this is a sheet I've definitely not seen before. Let's see if I can show you that. Very cool to have. Me like it. Uh, and then just left with the um, MCI TRF decals I do, which are awesome because, as a lot of you guys know, if you're looking for a set of TRF genuine Tamiya ones, sometimes they're just not available. Or I've seen them people asking silly little 60 quid for them, which is just ridiculous. So, yeah, um, it's really good that MCI do them now. Obviously, not quite as good, but you get a better selection as well. You get more decals. Um, and then, last but certainly not least, we have, um, let me just lift that camera up a little bit. So we have the air, god damn, we have the aeration. These are the small bore dampers, fantastic shocks. Uh, again, as I said, nothing to put them on just yet, but lovely to have. And then we have Tamiya's best shocks they've ever done, in my opinion. So these are the aeration big bar dampers, um, front and rears really cool to have um these can do silly money as well um and keeps also being so kind to send um the shocks for them which is sold separately which is very odd um but anyway um and the fronts are four-wheel drive because obviously you can get a two-wheel drive big bar spring set for it as well which will probably have softer springs i presume um so yeah just mega mega cool so absolutely top draw stuff, as I think you'll agree. Uh, Keith and family, again, I'm just getting tired of saying it because it doesn't sound like it's enough, but I, honestly, massively, I appreciate this more than you'll ever know. Um, it's such a pleasure to be building the, um, the new inbox juggernaut and then, of course, to have the added bonus of putting all the corrected parts that came out on the jug too. Um, and also to be able to um, do like a custom second body shelf for it is just amazing. And then obviously I've got the Monster Racing out to do that restoration on and put that in my collection. Just absolutely fantastic. So much to talk about. Anyway, I'll end this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So once again, thanks so much for watching. It is massively appreciated. If you are new to this channel and this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, if maybe you could give this video a thumbs up and if you do that go hit that subscribe button and if you've done those two things you may as well go hit that notification bell buzzer for our weekly videos and as always my friends happy RCing. Mm -hmm.